my name is Izzy, and today we're setting up a Bluemat 5 gallon gravity system. So, first, we want to get the soil to the same moisture content that we then would like the Bluemats to maintain. In this instance, we are watering the soil moisture until it reaches a point of 100 millibars, which we can tell using our moisture meters, the analog in this instance, and the aerometer in this one. After watering, we like to give the pots a couple of hours for the moisture to wick and spread out so that way they are nice and evenly moist before the blue mats go into them. Here we're checking the soil moisture with a digital moisture meter. You can see it's really wet now but it's going to spread out later and get to the 100 millibars that we'd like it to. So the first thing we have is a 5 gallon bucket with our 8 millimeter bulkheads installed into it. You can buy these with them pre-installed or you can install them yourself by just getting the bulkheads and using a half inch drill bit to drill into the bucket and just place them inside. The other pieces that we're going to be using here today are 25 feet of our super flex tubing, three 8 millimeter shutoff valves, one 8 millimeter T, a length of our 3 millimeter drip tube, our blue mat carrots that will be controlling the water flow from the bucket into the soil of these pots and the first thing we do like always is soak them under water for at least 15 minutes. After soaking, we take the cap of the carrot and screw it on to the bottom half while underwater to keep any air bubbles from getting inside. The next thing that we're gonna to do to set up our bucket kit is to connect our tubing to the bulkheads now that they've been installed in our reservoir. We like to have our tubing coming off of the reservoir from two bulkheads and forming a loop around our pots to help equalize water pressure throughout the tubing. Normally, if you just have one line of tubing running, the longer that it runs, the less pressure that you have. When you have it in a loop like this, the pressure is very even, no matter where you'll plug your sensor into the line. We're going to connect our tubing into a loop with the use of this eight millimeter T. Now, we'll simply slide the tubing over the barbs on the T the tubing is now connected from the reservoir all the way down here in one continuous loop. The next piece is to install your shutoff valves. One shutoff valve goes at the very end of the system, like so. And the shutoff valve has these little washer nut connecting points. You remove it like so, slide it over the tubing, the tubing slides over the valve and then this washer goes back over it and tightens like so. This shutoff valve is used as a point to purge air from the system. We always like to locate this at the end of any one of our loops because if an air bubble happens to get its way into the supply tubing, it'll get trapped there unless you have a way to remove it. The other two 8mm shutoff valves are going to be installed at the beginning point of each of the bulkheads so that way you can shut off water to the system. Now both of our shutoff valves have been installed to shut off water to the system you would simply turn the valve so that it is perpendicular to the tubing line. This means that it's closed. This means that it's open. Remove our carrots from the bucket, making sure that it is fully soaked and that the cap is on and there's no air in the system whatsoever. And we also wanna make sure that our pot has the moisture content that we would like to maintain from this point on. Take your sensor and place it into the pot and push it all the way in until the green cap that's at the very top. You wanna to make very certain when you push these in that you get a nice tight seal on the soil around them. We are going to attach the sensor to our main eight millimeter supply line with the use of this T that comes with every single carrot. And the blue mat sensor is now connected to our main supply line. Once our blue mat sensors have been attached to the supply line, we're going to tighten them down so that no water can get through them. The next step is to fill the bucket. Mm -hmm. 
Now, we check and make sure that both of these valves are open and that water is able to flow through the tubing. Make sure that all air is being purged from our system so that we have zero air bubbles in the tubing when we're calibrating our blue mats. To do this, we simply open the valve at the end of the tube and allow water to release and it will carry any air bubbles with it. Now that we've let the water run for a little while and you can see the stream has become consistent, we can know that there's no air bubbles in our tubing and we can shut off the valve. We are now going to calibrate the blue mats. Now if you remember earlier, we tightened off all of the blue mats so that no water was able to come through. Now to calibrate these blue mats, we simply open the tubing back up, allow water to release, which will also purge any air bubbles from these 3 millimeter lines, dial back the tubing to our classic hanging drip. After we've achieved the hanging drip, we dial it back an additional two triangles and the blue mat sensor has now been set. If you have a system and you're unsure as to what kits you should use to water your pots or beds, just give us a call or reach out and submit a quote request and we're more than happy to design your system for you and make it as easy as we possibly can.